Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Zealant Too Cool. I'm here to tell you guys about my 1.14 server. And well, holy crap, they've been building. Uh, well, I don't want to call it an SMP anymore because it's not as much of an SMP as it used to be. It's kind of more of a uh, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. But there's been a lot of changes. A lot of changes today. One thing you may notice is there's no annoying phantoms trying to kill me. That's right. I have disabled phantoms. Entirely. No more phantoms. It's amazing. I love it. I'm very, very happy about it. So... You can do whatever you want at night. The most dangerous of the enemies that would naturally spawn, such as the saw heads. I mean, this is now probably the most dangerous enemy that can naturally spawn, uh, such as the saw heads, the darkness, the wretched, and the lore warriors. And there's something else. Oh, and the skeleton king. They all no longer spawn naturally. So you don't have to deal with them. You can be as happy as you can be. Not having to worry about any of the horrifying monsters that used to roam the map. Alright, the worst scavers and the skeletal knights. I mean, everything else should be easy breezy. Unless you go to the swamp, and then it's your fault. Now, hopefully I won't do it again. Earlier when I went through this portal, it glitched and put me in. Alright. Did not do it that time. Good. Now, the nether, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. It is much, much harder than it used to be. It's Hydra Flames, Necromancers, Drow everywhere. You got all sorts of crazy enemies. This is, this is how the nether should have been. Alright. I mean, it is rough. It is the rough and tough of the nether. And well I might nerf a few of these enemies, like specifically the hell sprites need a little bit of nerf uh, on their damage. Um This dimension is as the nether should have been. Oh yeah, and this is probably the most dangerous enemy here if you don't have fire protection. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, well that thing lights you on fire by just looking at you. Basically shoots a laser of fire at you. It's terrifying. So, I mean, the nether is, well, as the nether should be. And I'm working on making the end like the nether. So see if we can slash back in time. Nope, it's not a spawn. And I'm also working on making the nether, not the nether, the end, kind of like the nether with enemies. And I'm working on adding a new dimension. Which should be quite interesting. You can go to the end from spawn now because people defeated the Ender Dragon. And this is player built, by the way. That uh, bridge thing. No, I did add the extra obsidian. As you can see, lots have been done. There is a bridge I had to make. Apparently, using these can get you killed because of a glitch. There's a permanently stuck Vex in that boat. It's really funny. So what people do. You get in a boat. You normally the Endermen do block the way. So you have to be a bit careful. But it's much faster than walking. People just bring boat. Sure, it's not teleporting. You do it right. Without angering any of the Endermen's you can get to the other side of this bridge. Easy peasy, no problem. Now. Oh well, howdy there, withering enderman. Alright. Yes, it is quite a long boat trip while bumping into endermans. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Some people just walk because they want to be safe. And not have to put up with Endermans. I'm sure nobody's trying to light this up yet. They're just letting Endermans spawn. 
All right, that's getting old real fast. And there's hyper endermen that can be in here, one of the withering endermen. But as you can see, they're not that common. We've seen what three, and this is a 900 block trail. I can't see any hyper endermen, so we're probably good on that one. And hyper endermen are just super fast endermen. Some bonus help. Like. When they start moving, they stick out like a sore thumb because they... That's too slow. Yeah. I might spawn one in here. Oh, there's one. I'm going to walk so you can see. Let's see if we can get him to walk. But, yeah, we've got plenty of change to the server. You can now live peacefully in the, uh, in the overworld, if you choose. You can build you can live out there you want to be all like let's go kill monsters and stuff go to the nether go to the end there's tons of monsters there and I'm working on the end today that is today's goal is to add a ton more enemies to the end and why hasn't this guy moved are you not entertained like, he'll outrun you easy peasy yeah there you go see how fast he moved it was legit like two steps for him oh yeah he moved right back so the hyper endermen, they had better drops. They dropped like three ender pearls instead of just the one. And as you can see, people have gone out here and fought. There's in cities, but not that much has changed to the end right now. Pretty soon, it's gonna be very, very different. Very, very different. Trust me on that one. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that sums up everything I needed to say. It's a much better game now. There's no phantoms. Overworld's safe. Shops are all good. There's... The nether is... has its own nether challenge if you're willing to play it. Um, it, it. It's looking like a good server. I'm just shocked nobody's willing to play it. There's a couple players who are all like anti-SMP right now. On my Discord. And... I just need them to no longer be my target audience because they refuse to come to terms with this. So I'm going to make another Portals of Legacy slash Scattered Skull server. And, whew, that's a lot of work that I'm not up for right now. But I will be doing it eventually. And we'll be running about the same time as this one. But not right now. See you guys later. Peace.